Your Peloton Bike Plus is finally here. Now let's get ready to ride. Make sure to read all warnings and instructions in the Peloton Bike Plus Home Assembly Guide before beginning to assemble the Peloton Bike Plus. Follow all instructions as given. Peloton is not responsible for damage, injury, or equipment failure caused by improper assembly or use. The Bike Plus and Bike Plus package are extremely heavy and require more than one person to lift or carry. Lifting heavy objects can cause muscle strain and back injuries. Use lifting aids and proper lifting techniques when moving or assembling the Peloton Bike Plus. Read the location requirements in the Bike Plus user manual. Try to assemble the Bike Plus in the same place you're planning to use it. This way, you won't have to move it after it's assembled. Clear about 5 feet by 5 feet of solid, level space for the assembly. And make sure you have a pair of scissors handy. You'll need them later on. We also recommend having a second person assist with assembly. So grab a workout buddy, close friend, or adult family member to help you along the way. Open the outer carton and find the bike carton, the touchscreen box, and the home assembly kit. In the home assembly kit, find the bike home assembly guide, cardboard stabilizer insert, and your extra home assembly tools. The extra tools are a pedal wrench, a long 5mm Allen wrench, and a long 4mm Allen wrench. Clear away the extra cardboard, but leave the unfolded outer curtain under the bike box. It will protect the bike plus and your floor during the assembly process. Do you have those scissors handy? Use them to cut the three plastic straps on the bike plus carton. The top should slide off easily. Remove the cardboard blocks from the front and back of the bike frame. Make sure to get the weight holder from the front one. Tank boxes B and C out of the carton base and set them aside. Remove the plastic covering the bike frame. Clip the zip ties on the frame and take out the handlebars. In box B, find the rear stabilizer and power supply. In box C, find the water bottle holder, hardware bag, tool kit, and handlebar post end cap. Box C might also contain the power cord and user manual. If not, you'll find those in the home assembly kit. And if you receive multiple power cords, make sure to use only the appropriate one for your region. The hardware bag holds the fasteners you'll need to assemble your bike plus. Four bolts A, three bolts B with washers, one bolt C, five bolts D, one bolt E with nut. The toolkits contain six, five, four, three, and 2.5 millimeter Allen wrenches, a 15 slash 13 millimeter combination wrench. With the tools from the home assembly kit, these are the only tools you will need to assemble your bike plus. Take the cardboard stabilizer insert from the home assembly kit and fit it onto the bike frame. It needs to sit flush against the flywheel. You may need a second person to assist you for this next step. Slowly lower the bike onto its side making sure the stabilizer insert stays in place and rests flat against the floor. Remove the carton base from the bike frame. Take out box A. In box A, you'll find the pedals, the handlebar post, and the front stabilizer. Unwrap the front stabilizer and put everything else aside. Fit the front stabilizer tightly against the front foot of the bike. Make sure you have the right stabilizer. The front one has wheels and the feet face away from the bike frame. Add two bolts A and screw them in using the six millimeter Allen wrench. Before moving to the next step, make sure the bolts are fully tightened. Fit the rear stabilizer against the back foot of the bike. Screw in the remaining two bolts A with a six millimeter Allen wrench. Shake both stabilizers to make sure they're secure. If there's any movement, tighten each bolt again. For more leverage, try using the short end of the Allen wrench to tighten the bolts. Carefully set the bike plus upright. This is one of those steps where your helper will come in handy. Set the handlebars upside down and pull the coiled cable out of the base. Thread the cable through the handlebar post 
and fit the post into the base. Since the handlebars are upside down, make sure the letters on the post are upside down too. Add three bolts B, make sure each one has a washer, and screw them in using the long 5mm Allen wrench from the home assembly kit. If you've used the short 5mm Allen wrench from the Bike Plus toolkit, you may not be able to get the bolts tight enough. Find the plastic end cap and thread the cable through the hole. Then fit the end cap onto the end of the handlebar post and make sure it's pushed all the way in. Loosen the handlebar adjustment knob at the front of the Bike Plus. Thread the handlebar cable through the head tube. Then insert the handlebar post. Move the handlebars to their lowest position and add bolt C. Screw it in with the 3mm Allen wrench. Plug the cable into the port in the front shroud. Before going to the next step, it's important to check that the handlebar post bolts are tight. Try wiggling the handlebars in their lowest position. Then move them high up and try again. If there's any movement between the handlebars and post, retighten the bolts. Thin the weight holder onto the back of the seat post and screw in four bolts D with the 3mm Allen wrench. You should have one bolt D left over. Before installing the pedals, make sure you know which one is which. Trust us, this part is very important. The left pedal is reverse threaded, so trying to install a pedal on the wrong side could damage the pedal and the bike plus. The left pedal is marked with an L, and the right pedal is marked with an R. Insert the right pedal into the right crank arm at a 90-degree angle. You might need to turn it slightly counterclockwise to seat it. Then hold the pedal steady and rotate the spindle until it's hand tight. Having your helper hold down the resistance knob will stop the crank arms from moving and may make things easier. Now insert the left pedal at a 90-degree angle. You may need to turn it slightly clockwise to seat it. Then hold the pedal steady and rotate the spindle until it's hand tight. Once both pedals are screwed in, tighten them using the pedal wrench from the home assembly kit. Remember to tighten both pedals by turning the wrench toward the front of the bike. Pull the water bottle holder apart slightly to fit it onto the head tube. Add the last bolt D to the front of the water bottle holder, but don't tighten it yet. Find bolt E and its nut. Push the bolt all the way into the right side of the water bottle holder. Make sure the water bottle holder, front shroud, and USB-C port are aligned. If they're not, tightening bolt E could damage the bike's wiring. If everything looks good, add the nut to the left side of the water bottle holder and screw in bolt E with the 3mm Allen wrench. It can be hard to get the bolt to thread into the nut. Try holding the nut in place by pushing on it with an Allen wrench. Once the water bottle is secure, you can tighten bolt D. And now you're ready for the big screen. Open the touchscreen box and remove the touchscreen and a bag with two bolts. Fit the touchscreen onto the monitor mount and tilt it all the way up. Hold onto the touchscreen until it's fully secured. You don't want it to fall. Add the two screws to the underside of the monitor mount and screw them in using the long 4mm Allen wrench from the home assembly kit. Make sure the screws go in straight and are flush with the monitor mount when they're fully tightened. Cross-threaded or loose screws won't hold the touchscreen securely. Remove any remaining packaging materials, including twist ties from the two cables coming from the monitor mount. Plug the cables into the touchscreen. The audio cable goes into the top port and the USB-C cable goes into the middle one. You're almost done. Tilt the bike plus onto the front wheels to slide the carton out from under it. Gently push the seat and handlebars from side to side to see if the bike rocks or wobbles. If the bike isn't stable, check the four leveling feet. If any foot doesn't rest firmly on the floor, turn it clockwise to lower it. Then use the 15mm wrench to tighten the nut on each foot. You're all set. But before you do anything else, check the Bike Plus user manual for instructions, especially before plugging it in or adjusting the seat. If your box included multiple power cords, make sure to use the appropriate one for your region. Welcome to the Peloton community. 